Thanks for joining us today. We're here at a, a nice, beautiful weather day at Wingate Lake, and so we've actually been sapping turtles. Today's our last day of trapping turtles. So we removed all the traps, and we've actually, looks like we have a recaptured turtle here, and possibly looks like a new turtle here. So I just want to talk briefly about these two species. These are the most common species we see out of Wingate Lake on Campus Lake. We have here a painted turtle. So you see that the shell is kind of a flat shell, kind of a, a smaller turtle overall, really beautiful uh, bottom side of their shell, also called a plastron. And here we also have another turtle we commonly see here, a yellow-bellied slider. Now this is an older turtle, looks like a male. He has really long claws. And as the turtles age, they kind of lose a lot of their coloration. So it's kind of dark colored underneath here on the, on the, uh, the plastron. So you can see here very different marginal scutes as well on this species, the yellow-bellied slider. But overall difference in size, a little bit of difference in terms of shell morphology. Both of them eat different vegetation, eat different um, scavengers as well, maybe eat different fish, etc. even insects. So they're commonly found around here. So you might see these turtles basking out around the lake. So, so sometimes while we're out sampling for turtles, we do get lucky in juvenile traps and we capture juveniles such as that musk turtle or this yellow-bellied slider juvenile. And these are really good indicators of a healthy population where we have recruitment. Now, sometimes we do see mainly adults that we capture in our large hoop traps, such as this yellow-bellied slider male with the large claws. And we do have sometimes see parasites, such as the turtle leeches on some species. And we do our best to remove those leeches from the individual turtles. Sometimes we capture a fair amount of turtles on the far side of the pond where we sample typically. We see a lot of turtle activity and we capture some more males such as this slider turtle with long claws. Now we do have other species such as the common snapping turtle that we capture oftentimes in our large hoop traps around the lake. And here's a much larger snapping turtle that we've captured before around the lake area. Now whenever we're out sampling the lake, we actually put signs out to let everyone know what we're doing. And we leave these traps out for overnight capture. Good that we do in case there's a lot of them or it gets moved or shifted. So, it's good. So here you can clearly see a turtle in the trap. And also while we're out, we sometimes can capture nesting turtles such as this musk turtle along the bank or even nesting painted turtles while we're out sampling. So now we're gonna check one of our traps that we've had out for 24 hours and we've baited with both corn and also sardines. Well, let's see if we have any turtles in our trap that's been out. Oh, wow. Looks like we have about 10 or 12 turtles, a combination of looks like yellow-bellied sliders and actually some painted turtles, so successful. So now we're gonna check one of our juvenile traps. And so I've unzipped it here and let's see if we have any turtles in our juvenile traps. Oh, awesome. Looks like we have a small turtle here small musk turtle. Of course, once we capture turtles, we want to process them so we get the mass or weight of turtles, of individuals that we capture by species. So we always want to be really careful to accurately capture that mass. We also get the straight length of a turtle, also an indicator of its size and overall health and age. And so we also get the curved length or the curved shell length of a turtle as a more accurate description of its overall body size. And each turtle individual we capture, if it's not a recapture, we assign it a permanent shell notch mark, so we give it a permanent mark on its marginal skew, and we also give it a temporary mark uh, with paint. So today we're out sampling turtles at Wingate Lake, and we've actually captured a juvenile, which is pretty rare. So this is a juvenile yellow belly slider turtle, and we've actually given it a mark. So we've given it both a temporary mark using um, nail polish and we've also given it a permanent mark by marking a series of three of its marginal or outer scutes and so this is a permanent mark this turtle will have for the rest of its life say 30 years and so an interesting turtle to see here we don't often see juveniles so kind of a cool catch for today and you can see um, how small it is we've actually already processed the turtle weighed and marked it and measured it and if we capture it we'll get some good growth data for the population so the yellow bellied slider juvenile turtles for a number of years at Wingate Lake. We've been actually monitoring their blood, looking at hematocrits for overall indicators of health and stress. And we've also been able to uh, 
supply a number of different artificial basking platforms around the lake area, and we use actual trail cameras to get numbers or counts of turtles using these platforms. And so you can see here in some areas, there's a lot of turtles actually using these platforms, basking on top of these platforms. And of course, the number varies by season or how much sunlight in a given year or season. We've also been looking at the internal blood parasites of different species of turtles at Wingate Lake. And a number of these studies have been published in combination with undergraduates doing research around the Wingate Lake area. We've also been looking at ways of non-invasively cataloging or counting turtles, most recently looking at actually using drones that fly overhead to actually count or enumerate the number of turtles in a given day. And so a number of other different research projects that have finished up the last few years, looking at all kinds of ways of counting turtles at Wingate Lake.